Visit Grizzly.com for oscillating sanders. Microjig, maker of the gripper. Work safer, work smarter. I just real quickly wanted to let those that might not know already that I have a Patreon page and that if you wanted to, you could become a supporter of Garage Woodworks and you can join my community of supporters on Patreon. And you will find a link to my Patreon page in the description of this video. And I hope you will uh, consider being a supporter. I still have some scrap mahogany left over from my bed build. So that's what I'm gonna use for this headphone stand. With both jointed faces, one against the table saw and one against the table saw rip fence, I'll rip this to rough width. For the base of the headphone stand, I'm gonna use a piece of scrap eight quarter mahogany. This chunk of wood is a little too thick for what I need for the base of this piece. So instead of taking this over to the planer and removing all this material and turning it into sawdust, I'm gonna resaw off as much as I can to get this to rough width. That way I can take the resaw piece and use it for something else. Then I'll take the base of the piece and I'll take it to its final thickness at the planer. Now I need to make one end square and cut the other end to length. I need to cut the upright to its final length, then I'll trace out a curve and cut it at the bandsaw. The next thing I need to do is make the component that's gonna get half lapped into the top of the upright. And for that, I'm gonna use the off cut from the resaw that we did earlier at the bandsaw. In the top of the upright, I need to make a half lap joint for that section of wood that we made earlier. And in order to do that, I'm gonna use my stack dado set and I'm gonna use a sacrificial fence and my miter gauge. And I have to do this in two passes because my stack dado set isn't wide enough to get the entire width of the piece that I'm going to half lap into the top of the upright. And I might have to do a third pass where I just sneak up on the fit to get it nice and tight. It's still just a little bit too tight. It goes in there, but it's a little on the snug side. So what I think I'm gonna do is just give this a couple passes on some sandpaper on each side, and that should make it go in a little bit easier. Nice and tight. I need to start working on the curved section next that's actually gonna hold the headphones onto the stand. And I'm gonna get that from a piece of five quarter mahogany. Before I can cut this curve out of the bandsaw, I need to drill two quarter inch holes for the quarter inch rod, which will attach this piece to the main support. Now that I have both holes drilled, I can cut the curve on both sides.
For the joinery for the upright to the base, I'm gonna use a floating tenon. And to make the end grain mortise in the upright, I'm gonna use my horizontal mortiser. I have the base of the headphone stand clamped to my homemade tenoning jig, and I move the height of the bit up, and I'll make the adjoining mortise in the base. With a 45 degree chamfer bit, I'm gonna make a chamfer on three sides of the base. And to avoid chip out, I'm gonna do it in two passes. And on the second pass, I'm gonna raise the height of the bit. In order to attach the curved section to the upright, I'm gonna use some metal rod. And the next thing I'm gonna do is cut off some short sections and then I'll polish them at the drill press. I'm gonna polish the steel rods with 400 grit sandpaper, followed by 4F pumice and mineral oil. I did one already and it seems to work pretty nice. I milled a piece of loose tenon stock a quarter inch thick and I rounded over the edges with an eighth inch radius round over bit. Now I just need to cut it to length. I finished the piece with a few coats of Minwax polyurethane. If you're new to my channel and this is your first time here, please consider subscribing. And also, if you'd like to contribute to what I do here at Garage Woodworks, you can become a patron of Garage Woodworks and you'll find a link for my Patreon account over here and you'll also see a link in the description of this video. Thanks for watching, guys.